there they are. Bane of existence of all Bob Whites across the entire range. It's a wonder they can survive with these things around. It just, it just amazes me. Maybe not. Michael Hook, small game program leader for the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. I get asked a lot um, about Bob Whites and fire ants. Can they, can fire ants impact Bob Whites? The answer is multifaceted, as you can imagine. Um, you know, and, and the question is, a pretty good one. I, we here in South Carolina experienced a decline in the 80s of Bob Whites. At that same time, we were getting fire ants across the state. Um, it's just coincidental, though, that that they happen at the same time. Um, there's states above us, more north of us, that experienced the same decline in Bob Whites, yet they didn't have fire ants at the time. Uh, some places still don't. Um, the truth is, Bob Whites, when they hatch, they can be impacted by fire ants. Um, you know, if it's a dry, hot day and the chicks struggle to get out the eggs, the fire ants can overtake a nest. Um, if it's a normal day, those furry little dinosaurs that pop out those eggs, they make quick work of the fire ants. Those are Bob White food. They're using that protein to put feathers on. Um, according to the re latest research coming out of Tall Timbers, about three to 5% of Bob White nests can be impacted by, by fire ants. You know, for a Bob White, making its living on the ground is tough. There are a multitude of of factors that are going into their survival. Um, the Bob White's decline wasn't one single thing like fire ants. Um, it's more of a death by a thousand cuts, you know. Everything is out to get a Bob White. They've learned to equip themselves. They can reproduce like no other, so they can, they can overcome. Uh, but the key is having good Bob White habitat. So, Hopefully this answers a couple questions about bobwhites and fire ants. Until next time, thanks.